Attention, this video is going to contain spoilers towards the boss fights and the story. If you do not want to watch a spoiler, then please do not continue to watch this video. Thank you. Alright you guys, I'm going to show you the Arc Hydra fight. <clears throat> also, I'm going to go ahead and give you some tips and tricks on how to beat this boss, because it's my first time around. I had a stupid hard time with it, and I kept getting insta-killed by one of its attacks. Oh my god, that was annoying. <laughs> this is not very much easier this time around either though. It's a little easier because I kind of know what to do, but it's nothing like the first Hydra boss battle. You can't just <clears throat> chop off one of its heads and you win. That entire life bar, you have to empty it. <sighs> I love playing with my guns. <laughs> but what I would recommend is, of course, make sure you have a lot of stamina items. Mostly stamina items, because you're going to be climbing up on it a lot. Also, I would definitely recommend having daggers, because of the speed they have. Uh, daggers with the 100 kisses skill. <clears throat> That's just my recommendation. If you want to do it with something else, then that tip is not valid. Ooh. Oh yeah, when they do that little dive thing that they just did, do whatever you can to jump on their head. Because that's the easiest way to take off the head. That's uh, like right there below the beginning of their neck on the top of their head. That's the easiest part to take their heads off. It comes off so quick. I don't know which does the most damage though. I think it does more damage if you take off the head lower down. I have double jump, so it's helpful to have that, but you don't necessarily need that. If you do decide to climb it, make sure, and I mean make sure, you get as high up on it as you possibly can. Because there's one of the attacks that does it's like this weird rush forward, and if you're too low, it will insta-kill you. I don't know if it'll insta-kill me at the amount of health I have, but close enough. Close enough. trying to double jump and I keep failing. <laughs> mm, yeah, that's just all I can... Oh yeah, when you cut the head off, if you have anything fire-based, burn it. Just keep burning where the missing head is. Because then it can't grow back. Like, okay, it can grow back, but it won't grow back nearly as fast, and it means you're doing more damage to it. That's why this game would have been so much better if it had online play. I love this game, I mean, it's extremely fun, but I mean, they could have done online for this game. <clears throat> hmm. Oh yeah, something happens right here, I like go through the wall and then I... Oh, never mind, I guess I don't go through the wall. Oh, I ran out of stamina. Luckily, nothing happened this time around, but last time, like, two of my pawns got eaten. It was bad. It was just, it was saddening. I don't even know if that's a word, saddening. <laughs> keep chopping the heads and keep burning them. That's definitely the fastest way to get this done. And, again, I can't stress how important it is that you climb all the way to the top of the head almost. At least halfway. At least. If you don't, and it does that rush attack thing, oh man, I kept that kept happening to me because, uh, not because, but it kept happening to me during like when I got its health past halfway down, and I kept doing this rush and insta killing me, and I was just like, oh no, <clears throat> it made me sad. Right there, like I said, when the heads, like, plummet down like that, do whatever you can to jump on top of them. Don't do what I did. Don't go for the bottom of the neck. Also, the recommended pawn setup I have, if you're using a magic archer like I am, use, like, maybe two warriors and a mage. Hmm. Hmm. 
That's just what I would recommend, though. Although, make sure you get a good mage. Mine kept dying. Oh, om nom nom. Right here. <laughs> I actually, one time I played through this, and uh, I let it eat me to see what happens. And <clears throat> what it does is you don't actually die. You kind of just uh, go down its throat for a while. Well, okay. Scratch it. You die, but it takes a really long time for you to die. If, and you can see a big lump in the snake's throat that swallowed you. If they chop the head off, you can come back out. <laughs> that's what's funny about it. And that's, again, another reason why this would have been good for online players. Because you could be like, hey, I'm in the snake's neck. Chop it. Chop it. See that? It almost ate my pawn. <laughs> Aside from all that, I really don't have any tips to give. This is a pretty straightforward boss, and it's not really that difficult. It's just time consuming. And, well, that's about all there is, too. You just gotta keep chopping the heads and keep burning if you can. If you can't keep burning, then just keep chopping. Bows and arrows don't really work against this boss, by the way. Just uh, get that clear. But you definitely need the speed of the daggers. Maybe if you have the sword with the dire gouge skill. But other than that, I wouldn't recommend trying this with the warrior class. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to turn the volume back up for the rest of the video and you can enjoy it if you want to continue watching it. And, yeah, well, if I notice anything in the video that I need to point out, I will definitely make sure to be recording that. Alright?
Alright guys, to the previous videos, the one on the left, which will be on dragons, is going to be the first half of uh, the dragon battle. The second half is going to be on dogma. Alright, if you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like. And if you enjoy the content I put out, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you, and have a nice day.